Well, hello there, chums. It is I, Captain Stephen Exo, and I am going to be trying to ride a creature on this episode. Yeah, <laughs> ride a creature. Don't you mean ride exocrafts, not creatures? Yeah, exo. Yes, yeah. That's that's a thing now. Yeah, you can actually uh, climb on the backs of the creatures. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, it's it is what it sounds like. I'm going to mount a creature in this episode. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> Okay, so chums, what you need to do is go up to the station and get the base part uh, of this, which is a nutrient processor. You need one of those. So you're going to need that. So if you haven't watched my video on how to get all the base parts, I strongly suggest you do. In fact, I'm going to try and put a card up in the top right hand corner, which is kind of over there, up there by that lamppost. Yeah, that's it. If you click that, you can watch how to get the base parts. But right, okay, so now I need to go find myself a creature. So bear with me. Um, I think there's some down by the beach over here. Well, there was earlier. I don't know whether the creatures come back to haunt the same sort of places that they've been before. That's my gnarly spider I built. And because of the uh, new sort of, I don't know, optimization, it takes a little while for things to pop in. Look, there it goes now. It sort of renders, renders the textures as and when you need them. Um, but yeah, quite cool. But here we go. Let's uh, head back down here. Now, this is where I saw the creatures before. I didn't scan them purposely for this video. Because, yes, you need to scan them to find out what bait they're interested in taking. And it's not going to work on the creatures in the water or the creatures in the air. Oh, the little reptilian guys are gone. They were quite cool. They had these big dorsal fins on their backs and everything. They were really cool, like giant lizards. They're not here. OK, well, I'm going to go hunt them down. And when I find them, I reconvene with you. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Howdy ho. I've spotted a few creatures, but um, I don't think they're big enough for me to ride. Now, the best way you can tell is if you scan one of these little guys, if it comes up with a bait in the top right corner, like that, so it likes those bait-type balls, those sort of round ones. I can't actually read what that says. The text is too small for my eyes. So, if I go into my menu over here, go into the catalogue, I should be able to find it under uh, the uh, crafty type stuff, cooking products. Here we go. So it was one of these, the enzyme fluid. Now to make enzyme fluid, I need to use my um, nutrient processor and I need facium and harvestable plants. Right, okay. Well, I think I might have some harvestable plants and facium. Okay, let's see if I, in fact, I may even have some of that facium inside of my exosuit. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, um, I probably would have transferred it to my freighter because I've been cooking up all sorts. Nope, don't have it on my freighter either. Okay, right, well, let's see if we can make some. Okay, right, so first I need some poop. So let's get some facium. I don't think I've got any facium yet, have I? Facium. No, no facium. Okay, so I may have to craft some um, food for these creatures. So if I go all the way down here, usually it's the last thing in there. Ah, I need some carbon. Right, let's get some carbon. Uh, the creatures I did spot before were a lot better than these ones. I'm not so keen on these ones, but, I, I, you know, it's only a demonstration. Let's grab some carbon, and then we can create some uh, sticks. Some pellets, I should say, not sticks, but yeah. So we need them to poop first, so I can get some fecium to put inside of my doohickey. Right, okay, so let's uh, create some sticks. Pellets. If I say sticks, I mean pellets. There we go. Let's craft a few more of them. Sweet. That should do us. Right, my little creaturey friends. Hello. It's Captain Steve, and I'm here to feed you with me. I, I want the one with the baubles on his head. If I'm going to ride one of you, I'm going to ride you. Okay, brilliant. Right, so now I've just got to wait for him to poop out some stuff for me. This is quite funny. You actually you actually see it sort of drop out of their backside now. But you might not because of his stupid sized tail. Well, we'll see. Oh, did, did you eat some as well, my little friend? Did, did you? I don't know. You may have done. Go on. Yep, excreting waste. There we go. I, I probably rolled down the hill, didn't it? Where'd it go? Okay, yes, so the poo has got this sort of green glow to it. 
and they're easier to see at night time. You can swap into camera mode if you're having difficulty in spotting them. And also the harvester wool plants have sort of got like an air of corn sort of icon. They're dotted about all over the planet. There's all different types on every single biome and planet type. Yeah, you should be able to spot them a mile off, especially at night. They usually glow or have bees and lights around them. Okay, chums, I've collected quite a lot of poop now, so let's see if I can um, mix that together inside my little instrument here and see if I can make the bait that this creature likes. Here we go, let's interact with this. And let's put in some of the poop. You usually find it's going to be the faecium that you have to mix with some of the local ingredients to try and get... The there it is! First try! Brilliant! Let's make some of that diddly diddly I love the way you can see it all bouncing around in there it doesn't look nothing like what's over here though does it it'd be nice if they actually had the uh, rendered pieces for what you've actually put in there that'll look that'll look a little bit more effectively freezing to the eye I think so I grab that take this get that right don't forget to take this with you because oh you kind of need that okay so if I get rid of the dehydrogen because we've got one Right, let's take that with me. Right, where's the one with the uh, glowing antlers gone? Oh, where's your little friend? Where's the, where's the awesome one? There's just two crud, crud ones there now, chums. Where'd the awesome one go? I wanted the one with freaking light bulbs. Okay, well, we're just going to ride any of these. So what you now need to do is go into here and go into your bait box and just sort of throw one of these out. Hiya! Eat that! Which one's eat which one's gonna eat it? I've just tamed a creature. Okay. Collect milk. Okay, well if if you can't actually ride the creature then it gives you milk. So the smaller ones only give you milk. Whereas the bigger ones they let you ride them. Oh, oh, here you go. You can mount him. There you are. I'm on him. <laughs> there we go. I have a creature. Sweet. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, so one button lets you mount them. And the other button uh, lets you milk them. So it depends what you want. So if you want some milk, milk them. <laughs> Look at me go. Yay. Creature riding, Captain Steve. Brilliant. And I haven't named these yet. I mean, if you go into the Discoveries page now, chums, the Discoveries page looks freaking awesome um so i believe it'd be nice if it highlighted the actual planet you're actually on wouldn't it but let's uh, have a look there we are so this is the fauna that i've just discovered and you can read all about them yeah and i can rename these if i wanted to i did want the one with the light bulbs on his head found on planet smidmoth mayag you're aware they are roam both forest and grassland gentle friendly creatures they're always happy to interact with other living beings a um, a plague upon stranded adventurers as they feast upon dehydrogen crystals their highly reactive saliva dissolves the crystals without the need to chew oh, observations always waiting isn't he lovely so yeah that's my uh, creature and I have also noticed the creatures are a lot more stripier and a lot more colourful than they were in previous iterations. I am liking the fact that they have um, made the creatures a little bit more interesting. And I suppose a little bit more variety in their markings and the way that they look and move. And the graphics. Oh my god, the graphics are looking so much nicer on PlayStation 4. Um, this I'm not liking though. I always find that my camera goes way down into the grass. Can I, oh, oh, whoops, you can actually end up jumping off the damn thing. Okay, um, I was hoping I might have been able to make the creature jump, but no. Off he goes. Oh, hello. So, yeah, I can collect, I can mount this one. There you go. I'm on him now. Ha 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 ha! I'm going to jump off him. Uh, can I actually... Yeah, there you go. So he's feeling happy now. Right, so let's try that again. Let's grab this. Chuck down one of them. Kapow! Go on. Yum yum. Eat up. So yeah, it's square to collect milk. So I might as well get some milk. And uh, yeah, then um, I can mount him as well. There we go. So now I've got the actual milk from this creature too. Look, move out of the way. Captain Steve coming through on my trusted steed. Yay, steed! 
Right, okay, so that, that's pretty much that. Let's uh, go into camera mode and put the... There we are. Me riding on a creature. Isn't that lovely? That's probably going to be my thumbnail for this video. Looking so happy on my little creature. He's not looking so happy, though. Look at that face. It's not, that's not a happy face, is it? He looks slightly worn out with Captain Steve on his back. I have ate a few donuts, it has, it has to be said. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. I better jump off my, my trusted steed and uh, say goodbye in the old Captain Steve sort of fashion. So, you guys out there are freaking awesome. So, thank you very much for watching. Hidden like and all that sort of shenanigans that you do out in viewer world. Oh, look, he just dropped some poo. We might as well get that, mightn't we? Oh, no. Okay, I guess not. Anyway, goodbye, chums. Thank you very much for tuning in. And yeah, if you haven't checked out this whole playlist of awesome tips, maybe you should. Okay, I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. Alright, bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. Hello chums, if you stuck around, you're in for a bit of a treat, a little bit of a bonus. Okay, so if you come back up into the Anomaly, or the Nexus, whatever you want to call it, and you come over to see this little chap, Kronos. Hello there, Kronos. Hello there, Watermelon Head. How are you today? If you have actually been picking things off of planets, or milking creatures, you can actually give him the stuff. And if he likes the taste... Okay, I did not gag. That's the only positive of this wild milk. <laughs> He's a bit of a connoisseur, this guy. He really is. But he will give you nanites based on whether he liked the taste or not. So five nanites is pretty much the going rate for stuff that tastes pretty nasty. So if I give him a, a hexberry, hopefully he's going to like that more. Filth, tripe, rot. <laughs> My tongue shudders at this monstrosity. I love him. He's brilliant. Yeah, so I, I wish he was voice acted. I really do. But yeah, let's, uh, let's try another one. Okay, let's... Uh, you can give him the same thing again. Sometimes things are slightly better. There you go. Well, you've created the most average hexberry imaginable. Quite some achievement. Yeah, but he'll give you a little bit more for that one. Look, I'm going to get 10. The most I've got off of him is 20. And he was like, wow, this is really nice. So let's 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 go again. Uh, utter blandness. Okay, what what's blandness going to get me? It got me 15, did it? Okay, brilliant. We're on the right we're on the right direction. Go on in. Have another one. Now, artist to artist, your hexberry have earned my respect. There we are. Now I'm going to get the 20. So there you go. So you can turn in the food to him. It's a very quick way to get yourself a shed load of nanites. Yeah, so if you are wandering planets, just pick up all the local vegetation. And hopefully, this little guy and his taste buds will equate to nanites. All right, well, take care. Goodbye. Goodbye, chums. Goodbye. Okay, and thank you very much to all my Patreon and PayPal supporters. Thank you very much there, chums. And if you want to become a Patreon supporter, hop on over to Patreon. There's something there for pretty much everyone. And yes, I am hoping to get a 3D printer that's capable of printing decently detailed ship models, which I'm hoping to send to each of my Patreon and PayPal supporters that back me on a regular basis. And yeah, hopefully to send those out maybe once or twice a year, depending on where in the world you are located. And yeah, my uh, aim is about $400, so I'm a little bit shy of that, but please continue to support me. And this song that you're hearing right now is by Nerv. Go check him out, and here is my own website. And on my website you can find loads of merch, and you can also find Android watch faces, which I'm doing for free, and wallpapers and all sorts of other gnarly stuff. So go and hop on over there. And here's some links to some of my other content. And yes, if you're not already subscribed to my new channel, please do so. Yeah, okay, well thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye now. Cheerio!